Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Williams. Very good. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Hi. Hello, Magdiel. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. Juan, Elmer. Hello. How are uh, you guys? How was your weekend? Nice. Watching movies all the weekend. Oh my goodness, Natalie. No, English watching, movies? Watching yes. football. Like Without English. any any letters. Oh my goodness, Natalie, look at you. Very good. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. Who was watching football or soccer? Who was watching soccer? Yeah, football. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. All right. I mean, I <laughs> All right, very good. All right, Ale, how was your weekend, Ale? It was okay, I yeah. guess. What did you do? In quarantine. Yeah. Um, well, I was um, doing some exercises. Okay. And practicing with the university. Okay. Very good. You're a good girl. And Williams, how was your weekend? Yeah, it's really nice. I was working, but uh, it was great. It was great. All right. Eric. Yeah. Hi, Eric. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. How was yeah, your I'm weekend? Happy. Yeah, why are you happy? Well, Tell us. Yeah, because I mean, uh, for a long, long time, I haven't seen my girlfriend. And this weekend, I, I. Oh, my I goodness. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Okay. So now you're happy. That's nice. Yeah. It's a moment. That's why I'm happy because oh. the quarantine has finished. Yes. I guess. I guess. Uh, we can go out. We can go out. Yeah. We no, should we stay at home. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah. Very good. Nice. I'm happy for you. All right, and Rocio, everybody okay with their weekend? Rocio was okay. Alexia, Elmer, yeah? Yes, yes, everything right. okay. Thank Excellent. you. Hi, Alexia. Hi. Elmercito, why are you so quiet today? Good evening, my dear teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How was your weekend? It was great. It was good. You? Great. Very good. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to start. We are finishing section three. All right. Remember that this is the second half of the course. Okay. So we have this week and next week and we are done. All right. And then you guys are going to go to advanced one. Okay. So make sure that as soon as you receive the email, you have to submit all the paperwork so we can start right away. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Flor. All right, guys. So let's begin. We're going to be talking about past, past models that express advice and what else? Opinions. An opinion. Thank you very much. I'm glad when you guys pay attention to the platform. All right. Okay, guys. So we have this. I have this for you, like always. So we have past models for opinion and remember guys that you don't say advices advices cannot be pluralized all right you say i have an advice to give you and i have you know i have like advice to give you but you never say advices that's not possible it's not it cannot be pluralized all right so here we go models of lost opportunity sometimes we can call these past model verbs models of lost opportunity because what they refer to is that something did not happen. Maybe you wish it would have been different, but that's a different story. The point is that something happened that wasn't supposed to, that shouldn't have, or that wouldn't have, all right? But it did not happen. That's why these models are also called models of lost opportunity or models of opinion and advice, all right? Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. No? All right. Very good. 
So we have uh, Williams, we have should have, what's the other one? Could have Madre mía, and... Un error. Ajá, siga leyendo, compañero. Could have and would have. Excellent, very good. Yeah. I'm coming. All right, so should have, could have, and would have, okay? Why are... Why do they have the have, have, have at the end, guys? Why do you think? Because it's past participle. Thank you. Yeah, because they are used in the past tense. And that's why oh, we need okay. the past participle to make the models in the past, like past models of, of um, opinion and, and advice or models of lost opportunity. Either one is the same thing. All right. So thank you, Natalie. That's why we use the have, because these models are being used in the past tense. Now, Mario, can you read, please? Mario Cortez. I don't know if the other Mario is in. Okay, uh, models of lost opportunity. Should have, could have, and will have. They describe situations when we are imagining uh, that the past was different. Thank you. They describe situations when we're imagining that the past was different, okay? So, in this case, guys, it's, it did not happen, or it happened. Something bad or something good happened in the past. Uh, maybe we say, mm, okay, all right, okay, maybe something could have been different, all right, differently, all right? So that's why we use this. Now, let's review the difference between should, could, and would. This is just to refresh your memory because by this time, you guys should know when to use should, when to use could, and when to use would. Now, watch it right now. It says, let's review. That means that we're not talking about should have, could have, and would have. We're talking only about should, could, and would. Do you understand the difference? Yes? yes. Thank you. Yes. All right, let's see. Um, Flor, can you read, please? The general rule is, read number one, Flor. Okay. Uh, should for recommendation. Recommendation, advice, advice uh-huh. If you win, you lose weight. You should eat health food. All right. So and stop right there, Florcita. Stop right there. Should for recommendation or advice. If you want to lose weight, you should eat healthy. All right. Right now, we're not wishing that something were different because right now we're just using should as a general model verb. Just reminding you that you use should for recommendation or for advice, all right? Yes. Let's see. Uh, continue, Flor. Could. Okay. Could for possibilities. Possibilities. Mm -hmm. Possibility. Okay. I have the day of tomorrow. Great. We could spend the day at the beach. Or we could go shopping. Remember that this is only an example. No vayan a andar en la playa mañana todavía. Be shopping, all right? No, no, no. That's not a great idea. Aha, continue, Flor. I'm sorry. On September. Yes, <laughs> December, Florcita. Okay. Well, ah, December. <laughs> all right. Cuando no gradúe. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> uh, go for imagine, imagining. Imagining? Imagining? Uh, imagining. Imagining results. Uh -huh. If I were read, I will buy a boat. A boat. Very good. Okay. Boat. Thank okay. you, Flor. So, as we said, the should, we use it for recommendation and advice. Could we use it for what? What, what do we use could for, guys? For what? Possibilities. For possibilities. For possibilities. Oh. For possibilities, Elmer. Yes, for possibilities. Ah, My dear right. teacher, when yeah, you yeah, when you use uh, should, could, and would, and in the in the last uh, slide, uh, say it's for the past. In this case, it's for the future, for example. In this um, case, it's just the general rules on when to use should, could, and would. That's why okay. I said that we're going to review the difference between those three. In no tense right now, let's say it that way, okay. to get to the past models of should have, could have, and would have. Okay? Uh, only in this case. Yeah, right now I'm just showing it to you so you remember when do I use should, when do I use could, and when do I use would. All right? When, is it, when, when do I use each of these model verbs? Okay? Okay. All right. So when we use could in general, we use it for possibilities. 
I have the day off tomorrow. Great, we could spend the day at the beach. Is a Maybe yes, maybe no, all right? Or we could go shopping, or maybe we could go somewhere else. Okay. It's a possibility, all right? Would is for imagining results, something that you say that probably won't happen. I'm just imagining it, all right? Something that you wish very much, but it's not gonna happen, all right? If I were rich, I would buy a boat, all right? I'm imagining this result. At first, I'm yes. not rich. I mean, first, I don't play the lottery, all right? Second, I'm not rich. Third, I would not buy a boat, all right? So you're just imagining a result here, okay? So these are the general rules on when to use should, could, and would, all right? And now we say, let me see here who I have in, in class here. Um, Selena, read the, what it says here, please, Selena. The same general rule applies when using should have, could have, and will have for imaginary past situations. Excellent, Selena. Thank you so much. So, Elmer, you see this. The, why did I wanted to show you these guys first or review this? Because it's the same use. The use is not going to change when we use should have could have and would have. So in other words, we use should have for recommendation or advice. We use could have for possibility. We use would have for imagining results. Now, what is the difference that we are using these ones? Should have, could have, and would have for past situations, all right? But it's the same purpose. It's the same why we're going to use it or how we're going to use it. Do you guys understand? Yes, no? Yes. So, so yeah. the time here is not defined. In this case, I just mm. wanted to show you, I mean, here is just when you use it, let's say if you wanna put a tense on it, we can say simple present, all right? In this one, in the general rule, all right? But now if you add have at the end of should, have at the end of could, and have at the end of wood, then That's they become fast. past situations or past models okay. or models of a lost opportunity. Yes. And all these in imaginary uh, yes, situations. Yes, imaginary situations or something that you, you were going to see the uh, examples soon, Elmer, that you're giving advice. You should have. Ah, uh, my, for example, mi Dios lo quiera, pero my friend has COVID 19. He shouldn't have gone out. All right, yo le doy un, 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 un consejo de no tuvo que haber salido. No, ya salió. ¿Sí me entiendes? En este caso, en otras palabras, teacher. Dígame. En, en otras palabras, cuando nos utilizamos con could have to, would have and to, and, and would have, uh -huh. y es lo mismo, da lo mismo, como que estuviésemos usando. Eh, cualquiera si sí cumple de alguna manera estas reglas que están en la en la pero en ese caso es una una situación hipotética del pasado nada más sí, exacto binaria. cuando le agregamos el have a should could y would elmer todo se vuelve como ya es o sea es un consejo que al final ya ni vale la pena porque ya pasó ya para qué claro uh -huh. ya se enfermó pues sí no tuvo que haber salido pero salió ya no lo puedo cambiar, ya salió, ¿ya? En, en este caso, entonces cuando hablamos de could have, should have, and would have, hablamos de past situations que ya pasaron. All right, usted puede dar, da, da todavía un consejo, pero ya el consejo ya no tiene resultado porque ya lo hicieron. Distinto es que yo le digo, you shouldn't go out para que no te enfermes ahorita. Ya, y solo le uso, uso el should diciéndole, Elmer, you shouldn't go out. No debería de salir porque se puede enfermar. Pero se enfermó y entonces yo ya le digo, pues sí, you shouldn't have gone out. No tuvo que haber salido, ¿ya? Ya. Yeah. All right. Ok. Ya fue a la Should playa. Have, ya fue a la playa. Él me da la disco, ya no sé a dónde, dice. Digo, no, 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 All right. Ok. 
Eh, por ahí hay una bulla, no sé de dónde viene. A ver, José Rodríguez, should have, please. Josecito. Okay. You should have to say that a different action was recommended in the past. All right, late to English class. You can say, I should have left my house earlier. Did you regret an argument? You can say. All right, so here, guys, if you notice, the first one is a should have, okay? And now I'm trying to give you examples here. It says should, you should have to say that a different action was recommended in the past. If you arrive late to English class, you can say, I should have left my house earlier, but I didn't, all right? If you regret an argument, you can say, uh, Jose Ramos, can you read, please? Josecito, your microphone. Jose, your okay. microphone. Mm -hmm. You can also, you should have or shouldn't have to tell other people that a different action in the past could have been better. If, if your son fails a test, you can say, you should have studied it. You shouldn't have played video games all the weekend. All weekend, all right, okay. Here, we are also saying that something could have not been done, but you did it anyway, all right? So that's when you use should, could have. Eric, can you read, please? Yeah, you could have to talk about possibilities if something has been different in the past. Okay. For example, someone who didn't go to college can say, if I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. All right. Continue. When, mm -hmm. Continue, continue, Eric. When talking about a gymnast who didn't win a competition, you can say, she could have won a gold medal if she hadn't fallen three times. All right. Continue, Eric. Could have you often used with F if, plus mm -hmm. and plus past participle if I had gone or yeah. if she had fallen. These if phrases express the imaginary past situation. However, in some cases you can use could have without the if phrase. Imagine you are driving with a person who makes a dangerous maneuver mm -hmm. maneuver on the road. You can say, are you crazy? <laughs> we could have gotten into an accident. All right, very good. Would have Ana Valencia. Use would have to imagine a result. If something had been different in the past, if you arrive late at the airport and miss your flight, you can say, if we had arrived early, earlier. we would have earlier, we would have caused a flight. If you forget your umbrella and it starts to rain and you get wet, you can say, if I had bought my umbrella, I wouldn't have gotten wet in the rain. All right. All right, continue. Thank you, Anna. Continue, Mark, dear, please. Yes, teacher. We hope, we'll have expressed more uh, certainty. certainty. Certainty? Certainty? Certainty about the result uh, than could have. If I had worked harder, um, I could have gotten a promotion. Maybe I'd get a promotion, but maybe not. On the test, where you need um, 70%. 70 percent, mm -hmm. to pass, I got a 68 on the test. If I had gotten two more points, I would have passed. With the two points, passing the test is Certain. Certain. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah. Finish up. Magdiel, please. It's spoken English. 
Okay, spoken English. In spoken English, many people say should, should, should up, should up, put up, and would up. Would up. Would up. Excellent. All right, very good. Okay, we're going to go back, guys, because I want you to understand this, okay? Uh, well, before I, I read this again, do you have questions so far? Do you guys have any questions right now? Or no questions? Ana, Jose, Eric, no questions. Flor, Ale, Alexia, Natalie, Jose Rodriguez, Elizabeth, Del Carmen, Elizabeth Larín. Nobody, no questions. No. Walter, no questions. ¿Quién dijo yes? No, no questions, guys. Not absolutely. Mm, no, no. Oh, okay. No All right. Okay. Let's go then. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All, right. All right. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to review this just in case because de repente no questions, but de repente salen alguna question por ahí. All right. So we have should have, okay? You should have to say that a different action was recommended in the past. Recuérdese que hablamos de recommendations, o sea que hablamos de suggestions, or we talk about advice, all right? Okay. If we go back to this, should, we use it for recommendation or advice. Present or past is the same. You should have to say that a different action was recommended in the past. If you arrive late to English class, you can say, I should have left my house earlier. ¿Ya le ha pasado a usted que va, llega tarde a un lugar? Y dice, yes. yo me atuve Every porque time. yo pensé que no iba a haber tráfico, all right? Yes, and you say, I should have left my house earlier. You have to pay attention. Should plus have plus PP of the verb. Should have left. No digo should have leave. No digo should have cualquier otra cosa. Should have left. It is, it is not the simple past. It is the PP of the verb. The past participle, okay? You can also use should have or shouldn't have, depende de lo que está diciendo, to tell other people that a different action in the past would have been better. ¿Por qué? Porque usted va a dar un advice, un recommendation. If your son fails a test, you can say, you should have studied. ¿Quién tiene hijos aquí en la clase? Reconocido, mentira. <laughs> no. All right. Oh, okay, very good. De repente a veces nuestros hijos salen mal, ¿verdad? Y usted le dice, pues sí, you should have studied, pero no estaba en el cell phone, estaba watching TV, estaba sleeping, estaba playing, cualquier otra cosa menos studying. Entonces cuando le llegan las notas, usted le dice, you should have studied, y lo regaña, ¿verdad? Yeah, we do that. Very good. Okay, you should have played video games. Pay attention. Ojo, you're using should plus have, plus the PP of the verb, it's studied. No se me vaya a confundir porque no es el pasado simple, es el pasado participio. Yes? Yes, guys? Hello? Yeah? Yes. All yes. right, yes. thank yes. you. <laughs> Good. Ah, ojo con esto. Niños y niñas, it's very important. Your pronunciation. No anden diciendo should, porque should no es. Es should. <laughs> All right, <Shoot>. watch it. <laughs> All right, y si dice should, no va a decir que fue alumno mío. Diga should, así como <laughs> should. Should. Right. should. Should, tampoco should. me le voy a agregar la L, la L es muda. No diga should, a esta altura de la vida no se le permite. Sure. De verdad. Me va a dar algo, ¿verdad, Elizabeth? Aquel día no le va a dar algo. All right, should. Guys, quiero ver, quiero repetir, quiero ver. Should. 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 No decimos champú, decimos pasame el champú con che, ¿ya? Entonces se nos queda y decimos should have, no, es should have, 
All right, yes? Sure. Okay, thank yes, you. Teacher. Okay, vale, vale. <laughs> All right, you could have, you could have to talk about possibilities if something had been different in the past. O sea, possibilities. All right, we're talking about possibilities here. Solo le agregamos el have, pero es el mismo uso. You could have to talk about possibility, possibilities if something had been different in the past. For example, someone who didn't go to college can say, if I had gone to college, I could have gotten a better job. But I didn't. All right? It's different. I didn't go to university. I didn't study college. Or when talking about a gymnast who didn't win a competition, you can say, she could have won the gold medal if she hadn't fallen three times, all right? It's a possibility. Pudo haberse no caído tantas veces, solo caerse una. Pero no, she fell three times, all right? The pronunciation of this one, ¿cuál sería? ¿Cuál es la pronunciación? En dulce me lo oído, quiero ver. Cool. Cool. Could have. Could have. Could have. La L no me la voy a andar diciendo con cult. No, cult no es nada. Could have. All right? Okay. Could. K-U-D. Así, imagínese. Could have. All right? All right. It's my dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. Um, <laughs> en la anterior slide, yes. hay una posibilidad también. Tú hubieses, en un ejemplo, tú hubieses salido bien si hubieses estudiado, si no pasases estu eh, jugando en el... Eh, sí. videojuegos. Sí. Ahí era una posibilidad claro. también. Sí. Pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? Porque aquí usamos el could y allá usamos el should. Porque, porque en el should, medio... en el should está usted recomendándole en el pasado es que hubieras estudiado más. Aquí es... No, pero, pero, pero está dándole una, una sí. situación del por qué. Está diciéndole que tú, tú hubieses salido bien si hubieses estudiado pero pasas jugando en el videojuegos. Ajá. No sé cuál, cuál presentación. Y usaba el should. Ah, era el would. Esta. El, ajá. Ahí está. Del niño. Ajá, uh -huh. del niño que pasaba jugando. <risa> Estaba eso. dando posibilidades. ¿A ¿Dónde sí. está? ¿Dónde está? Guys, where I, is it? A esta. Sí. De esta. Ajá, está dando posibilidad ahí. No, está le está dando le está le... Chu. Pero, oiga, ¿el qué está usando? Le está dando dos situaciones de. No, la ¿qué está usando? Dígame la palabra. ¿Qué dijo que está usando? La confusión. <risa> 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 El Right. Ok, Elmer, lo que pasa es que el should es que usted está dando un, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Suggestion, advice. Es un advice. Bye. Una, una, sí. Vaya, es como que usted le diga a su hijo, tú debiste haber estudiado, lo que pasa es que en español lo hablamos así, tú debiste haber estudiado. Sí, ok, ahí estamos. Y en el no, otro que estamos haciendo, ajá, en el could. Pudiste haber estudiado. Ah, pudiste haber estudiado, oh, pero, no, pero no, no lo estamos existe. diciendo. En, ahí no estamos dando un, un, un advice. No, ah, okay. estamos dando una posibilidad. Pudiste Hay haber una... estudiado, pero no quisiste. ¿Ya? Está regañando. No, casi. <risa> También en este. <risa> sí, no, es para tenerlo tener claro, sí. Ajá, no, 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 no. sí, claro. y lo que dice Rocío ahorita también, en both cases usted está regañando in a way, ¿verdad? Ajá, Pero uno es sí. como que debiste y en el estro pudiste haberlo hecho diferente y no lo hiciste, Ajá. ¿ya? Ajá, la regaste right. como... Ya, yeah. ok, okay. All, right. <ríe> all right, very good. Luego tenemos eh, acá, el would have, you would have to imagine a result if something had been different in the past. O sea que es an imagining result, all right? Es, lo, si se fija aquí está, would for imagining results, y acá, ya lo voy a marear. Está, eh, you would have to imagine a result, es lo mismo, imagining a result, if something had been different in the past. 
if you arrive, I arrive late at the airport and miss your flight, you can say, if we had arrived earlier, we would have caught on our flight. All right? If you're imagining, ya el vuelo ya se fue, ya se está imaginando. Yeah? If you forget your umbrella and it starts to rain and you get wet, you can say, if I had brought my umbrella, I wouldn't have gotten wet in the rain. Pero yo estoy empapado porque no la andaba. Entonces me imagino que si hubiese traído. Yes, ajá. All right, it is very good, Eric. Very good. All right, now. En este caso, Elmer, si podemos, digamos, hacer una distinción entre cuándo puedo usar el would have y el could have. Digo porque el should have es más como un advice, siempre. Pero el would have expresses more certainty. Y aquí hablamos otra vez del... Obligation. ¿Se acuerda? De la, el, de, el grado de certeza o de, de, de seguridad que usted tiene al respecto sobre algo. If I had worked... Entonces dice, would have expresses more certainty about a result than could have. Pero hablamos del resultado. If I had worked harder, I could have gotten a promotion. Maybe I would get the promotion, but maybe not. On a test where you need 70% to pass, you said, say, I got 68 on the test. If I had gotten two more points, I would have passed. ¿Qué tiene más certeza? ¿Qué tiene más certeza? El, al, al pasar o tener un mejor trabajo, una, una promoción en su trabajo. El, el, los dos puntos que le hicieron falta, porque usted sabe que al, al 70, al llegar al 7, usted hubiera pasado. ¿Ya? Entonces, you, when do you use would have or could have is when you're more certain about the result. ¿Yes? ¿Guys, yes. you understand? ¿Ya? Yeah? Yes. All right. Ahora, yeah. Teacher, yeah. Yes. Teacher, este, yes. eh, ¿podría poner la anterior, porfa? This la lámina la, la anterior. This one? Um, oh, esta. Donde estaba el de que iba volando, ese. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, gracias. Gracias. All right. Out or flight. Ah, okay. Gracias. Flight. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Okay. Now, when we speak, guys, eh, we use should off, could off, would off. All mm -hmm. right. Suena como que fuera off, pero obviamente no lo es. I should have gone. I, sh I could have done. I would have studied. I should have traveled, all right? No decimos, I should have traveled, all right? Es como Pero cuando le dice, abunda. yeah, what is your name? Y no dice, my name is Jessica. Eso lo dijo en el básico uno. O le digo, what's your name, Eric? Name, Ana. My what's name your name, Flor? What's your name, Mario? All right? You don't say, my name is Mario. All right, ya no repite todo, all right? <laughs> Entonces es igual, I should have, a menos, unless, guys, pues parezco que estoy regañando, ¿verdad? Eh, a menos que you want to be emphatic. Y usted dice, you should, cuando usted está regañando a sus hijos o a alguien, a sus, no sé, usted le dice, you should have studied. Y hace, le, lo, lo, lo enfatiza y dice, you should have. All right. Pero o you should decir have. su esposo, ¿va? ¿De qué usted? Se lo regaña. Yo no lo regaño. All right, so should have, ahí sí lo podemos usar cuando usted quiere ser bien enfático en algo. Pero si es nada más like talking normally, you say you should have. You should have studied, you should have came to class, you could have done it better. All right, so you use this one in a spoken English. Do you understand, guys? Yes? Yes, and the pronunciation, pronunciation, yeah. you always omit the, the L, the L word. Yes, of course. Should have. Yeah. Should have, yeah. could have, and would Should have, could have, would have. Should have. Could have, would have. Could have, would have. All right, yeah. The L doesn't exist, only in spelling, Mario. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Can you can you repeat the pronunciation more um, más lento? Por favor? <laughs> should, should have, should have, could have, would have. Ya está mal, hasta así suavecito. Should have, could have, would have. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Y Selena se dice should o se dice should. <laughs> should. should, ¿verdad? No, yo sé, Selena lo, lo pronuncia bien. Very good. Should, all right? Could. Desde ahora go. sí, desde ahora sí me <laughs> quedó claro. All right, okay, guys. 
No questions. No questions. Okay. All right. So this is what we're no. going to do. Elita, Larin, do you have any questions? Or is that being quiet, like Eli? No, teacher. No question. No questions. All right, Eli. Very That's good. Okay. okay. So what I want you to do now is uh, you're going to go to your groups right now and you're going to make three sentences. One with could have, should have, and would have. All right. You can make it negative. You shouldn't have, wouldn't have, or couldn't have, whatever you want. So I want you to make the sentence, for example, I don't know, just make the sentence similar to the one that we have on the presentation. Para eso le voy a dar cinco minutos porque quiero un ejercicio que tengo por ahí también. All right. O sabe qué? Vamos a hacer esto mejor. This is what we're going to do, guys, right now. Hold on. So you work on the, the two things when you are with your partner. Oops. All right. Take a picture of this, guys, please. Can you take a picture of this? Sure. Yes. Ah, yes, yes. We can see. Can you see? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. Here, guys, es un como mix también de los de past models of degrees of certainty or possibility. All right. So you know this already. Okay. And the structure is the same. So you have to have the past participle because you're talking about past models. Okay. But the exit, the first, finish the picture, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay, so the first exercise is right now, I want you to write three sentences using should have, would have, and could have, or negative. Try to write it on your computer so I can see it when I get in. And when you finish, I want you to start with the exercises with the 10 or 11 sentences, okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Hey, only 17 people. What happened with number 21? I don't like it when you guys are not in class. Spending time in Metro. My goodness, <laughs> tapas. <laughs> All right, guys, click away, please. Jose Ramos.
Smoking. Mm -hmm. No, no, voy a cambiar. We shouldn't smoke. We shouldn't have smoked. ¿Verdad? Smoked, teacher. Sí, smoked es We verbo, eh. hay que ponerlo en el pasado participio. Mm -hmm. We should have smoked. No tuviste que haber smoked. Eh, fumado. Fumado. Mm -hmm. Fumado. Smoke. Ah, en pasado. Pasado participio, Eli. Y... Ok. Y... Me avisan cualquier cosa, ¿ok? Sí. sí. Sería. I could have bought. Ajá, I could have bought pizza for dinner or something. In. Sure. Watch the spelling, Florcita. Oh, no sé quién está typing. I could Me. have both. Ah, Natalie. 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 What Natalie. Uh, <laughs> Natalie. 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 Hi, Elmer. Hi, Ale. Hi. Okay. Could I have a token? Qué bien portadito está, señor. Estoy pensando, teacher. Qué barbaridad. Okay. Ah, pues lo dejo que piense. Bye. Mira, están bien, están bien, teacher. Uh, I should have gone. I should have gone to dinner with the teacher. I should have taken the bus. You could have made the homework if you want. If you wanted to pass, wanted. Yeah, Maria could have spoken with you earlier. If you mm -hmm, would have listened, I would have told you the secret. Yeah, it's good. They're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Hi, Selena. Hi, Rocio. Hi. I could have bought bread, but. Hi. Are you, the number are you already making the sentences? Uh, yes. No, no, yet. The sentences for. Uh, uh, for you? For us, we didn't do it. Yet. <laughs> okay, that's okay. But, but, okay. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I have we a decide, question. We decide and make the, the exercise. First. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. That's okay, Selena. That's fine. Okay. That's okay. I, I, in this case, in number two, we should have not invited. Yeah. How can we contract this? We shouldn't have. We shouldn't negative. have invited. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't. Uh, shouldn't have. Uh, invited. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't have invited so many people to our party. I'm worried. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank watch, uh, Rocio. I don't know who's typing, but watch the uh, the spelling on should for number three. Okay. With L. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Yeah. If you need help, let me know. Okay. But you're doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to you. Hi, Eli. Hi, Eric. Hi. Hi, teacher. Eli, mañana regresa, Eli. No, teacher, nos dijeron que, bueno, en el colegio nos dijeron que esta semana todavía, ¿no? Que tenemos que esperar. Ajá. Y como la ministra ha mandado un, un comunicado que hasta que ellos den bandera. Den las las indicaciones y dijo que si algunos colegios querían regresar pero que ellos los iban a autorizar no era que solo ellos dijeran vamos a regresar y ya ah mire y ese es un comunicado uh -huh. del ministerio Eli sí ahí está el comunicado entonces eh, de hecho hoy salió y, y, y lo tiene para que, que me lo mande ya lo voy a buscar se sí, lo mando. bye bye, <ríe> bye. <ríe> sorry <ríe> pórtese bien Eli pórtese bien porque vio a la novia. Ya. Yep. Barbaridad. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. Ya era hora de aire. Qué barbaridad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pues. So you use a, a lot of war in selling your work. Okay. A cool of bought bread. Hi, uh, Jessica. Hi, Mario. Hi, Alexia. Hi. I didn't know. No, we. Did. It's okay, the uh, sentence. Uh, Mario uh, and Alexia, I don't understand sentence three. <laughs> yeah, it's a, totally, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's the first one I, I think and I put in a sentence. Uh, okay. She will have let me her Ferrari if she bought when it was cheap last summer, but... Ah, uh, okay, I, no, I think I got it, okay. I think I got it, hold on. You, I mean, she would have lent me her Ferrari if she had bought it, had bought it, and bought it when it was cheap. Uh, cheap with C, Mario, porque si no... Uh, C, where, 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 where? Uh, cheap Sorry, I can, is I can hear cheap. Cheap, uh, uh, Mario, cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. cheap. verano pasado. Okay, so I put is sí. chips. No, 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 instead of, no, honey, instead of S is C. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah. I could have gone to the next. Yeah. Have Maybe one day Ferrari was cheap for buy it, but I don't know. It's an imaginary situation, Mario. Yes, it's a very imaginary situation. It's like Mariso Funes Ferrari, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> very good. All right. I could have gone to the beach, that's fine. You should have gone to bed earlier tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we need to get up at 4 30 a.m. Okay, that's fine. They are okay. Oh, okay. Thank nice. You. Thank you, Alexia. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Jessica. So, number two, we invite so many people to. Hi, Wilson. Hi, Walter. Hi. How are you? We are okay. Excellent. We have a little problem with that. What happened, Williams? Screen with the screen, but. Oh, okay. But you're okay now? Yeah, yeah. I'm working on that. Oh, okay. But I have this only. only Marco this. should have slept late on weekend. On the weekend, all right? You could have started working earlier today. I wouldn't have ate a lot last night. <laughs> I wouldn't have ate. Mm, is that an imaginary situation? I wouldn't have ate a lot last night, but I did. I don't know. Mm, I don't sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't sure. Yeah, what do you say, Walter, for number three? I mean, I wouldn't have... I don't know. Maybe it's the Too verb hot. that you're using. Uh -huh, I think I shouldn't, I think that would be a personal advice. I shouldn't have eaten. I wouldn't have eaten. The past participle of eat, guys, eaten. Eaten. Yeah. E-A-T. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eaten. Uh -huh. I wouldn't have yeah. eaten a lot last night. Pero igual, porque el wouldn't es como an imaginary something. Okay, so, okay. okay. Mm. So I think that one, as Walter was saying, I think it's better if you say, I shouldn't have eaten a lot last night porque me dio dolor de estómago, right? Okay. Or I could, I, I would have eaten. Yeah, I think it's the <laughs> verb. It's the yeah. meaning, guys. I think it's the meaning that is, the, I mean, the structure is okay. Okay. But I think the meaning, no sé, no me dejen pan. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. All right, very good. Continue, continue. But the other ones are okay, guys. They're fine. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Hi, Magdiel. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Fine. How are you doing, guys? Are you finishing quite off? No, really? 
No, yet, teacher. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Do you have your own sentences? Did you work on that? Yeah. Do you have it so I can see them? Okay. Let Please. Me check. Mm -hmm. The all sentences. The three sentences that I told you to work on. One for oh. should have, one for could have, and one for would have. Did you do those? Oh, okay. Um, in the case of should have, okay. In the case of should have, we choose you should have told me the secret of Mary. Oh, no, that's Chambre Mandiel. I'm kidding. You have told me the secret of Mary. <laughs> Very good, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. And the next one in could have, uh, he could have have gone the the college, maybe could have better opportunities. Okay, let's see. He could have gone to college. I spell uh, erase, delete the. That one yeah. deleted. The 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 yeah. College is um omit the you no you. Okay. Okay. He okay. could have gone. To, he could have gone to college. Maybe he would have better opportunities. Maybe he would have better opportunities. He would have. Delete has, uh-huh. Better job, very good, yeah. If you had eaten earlier, you wouldn't have gone. So excellent, nice sentence for the last one, very good. Nice. Okay. Very good, guys, good job. You have yeah. a happy face, very good. <laughs> you. So right now you're working on the exercise, is that right? Yes, we're working okay. in the four okay. one. Ah, okay, very good, nice, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So number nine. Hi, Natalie, hi, hi, Jose. Hi, Jose, I think that he can hear us. Ah, I think he was a sentence in night. Problems. Okay. Uh-huh. So we are number nine. Okay. Lucy left college. She made her fly. Passed by regret. Lucy should have left.
All right, guys, were you able to finish the exercise? Yes. Yeah? All right. Mario, were you able to finish? Elme, Flor, Alexia, yes. Rocio? Yeah? Yes. All right. Just okay. We finish with Alexia. All right. So I'm going to, because of time, I'm going to show you the answers. Here, guys, you may take a picture of this if you want to. Mm, okay. So you can compare the answers because of time, and I and Jose is gonna tell me, teacher, we need to go. <laughs> uh. All right. So that's uh, how it should be, guys. So you may take a picture so you have the answers right there, and then you can compare. So, guys, um, I believe we have finished pretty much section three today. So tomorrow we're going to begin section four. I'm telling you, to go ahead and and check it in case you haven't and tomorrow i'm going to be uh posting my comments on your comments all right for this um past video the 3.7 i think it was that i did not comment on it but the rest of them are already done all right guys so thank you so much for being in another class with me please try to be here every single night we have like just this week three more classes this week and for the other one and we're done all right so i mean time flies okay so guys please be safe if you don't have to go out don't go out if you need to go back to work then please keep safe all right so thank you so much have a great night i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you bye bye thank you bye 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 bye